Just order this off eBay. Pretty cool. Love this movie. Brand new. Yeah, Hello, I just wanted to give a quick review on my, the uh, quick review on the new Thor movie. It was pretty good. I saw it. Um, what was it like a week or two ago? Yeah, sorry, I've been uploading my videos very slowly. I took some like, weeks to upload them. Just, oh, sorry, I've been playing my new Arkham game and you know watching Man of Steel. I got Man of Steel. I forgot to show that off and stuff. Yeah, I've just been doing a lot. But yeah, Thor was a good movie. I love the ending. I, I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody, but yeah, it was great. I love the ending. It was amazing. After credits, uh, it kind of bugged me, especially with you know that one guy. I just I didn't really like it that much. I did kind of like what the guy said like, at the very end. I'm like, oh, that was pretty cool. But the, I didn't like the guy though. I felt like it totally messed up on him. But it wasn't that bad of a movie though. It wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't that bad. It's better than Iron Man three. I have to say, I did not like Iron Man three that much. You know, it was, I, you know, I watch it still, but you know, I did not like that much. But yeah. Every figure has its moments of death sometimes. Oh, so sad. Batwoman died. I was just playing with her. I've been playing with her a lot lately. I just picked her up and I was like, yeah, yeah. I was just like moving around, moving around joints, you know, and stuff. And finally, her arm got a little loose. I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird. It got loose. I'm like, I hope it didn't break. Boop. <laughs> up. Yeah. So, it does stay there if I do it a certain way. Oops, wall rings falling over. There we go. For a second, I got it. Oh well. Well, I found a certain way to fix it for like a short time. But yeah, that might just super glue it or something. Stupid Batwoman. <sighs> yeah, that's why I don't like DC, DC Direct. Marvel Select, I've only had one break on me so far, and that's the Ultron. So I still don't know why it broke. I know why it broke, but I just didn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, DC Direct. I haven't broken one in such a long time. The last one I broke was like Supergirl or something. I don't know why I broke. Yeah, I haven't, a lot of them have been breaking on me, but I'm trying to be more careful with them. This one, I, I was kind of being a little rough with it, you know, trying to, you know, going like, whoa, yeah. Should have gone a little slow with it. I was like, wow. Acting like it was a normal figure. But, nope, it's not. Failure back, woman. Goodbye. There, it fell. It fell down, yeah. So it's just my top shelf. I got the Thor will sway to there. Wolverine, Hulk. Wrong move. I can't read that. Green Lantern display. That just fell over. That part fell over. It's a work in progress. Work in progress. That Thanos display. I don't really have any Thanos displays really. I don't show them off. So beating people up and stuff. It's all cool. Cool. Yeah. I'll show off another day. But yeah. Hey, um, this is a small display I did. I just, you know, got a little bored. Um, the idea is, um, What's his name? Gem. You know, it's not a really used figure. I'm just doing this just because. Not because of the whole ACBA week thing. I'm just doing it just because I saw him. Like, you know, it'd be kind of cool to display. Um, Flash is kind of taking over my mind control. You'll see it better in the pictures, but it's just like, ugh. It's kind of like, uh, yeah. Superman also under control. And Green Lantern and Aquaman under control. But of course, Red Tornado, he comes to save the day, you know, he's an android. Wrong move. Throwing him away. So, it's kind of cool. It's pretty simple, but fun. Here's another display I did, just for fun. This is kind of a, I haven't watched a lot of Just Lee lately. I watched all of it before I was watching it again. And, you know, the whole those team members on the heat fell over a bit. Something like that. Um, you know, those team members like yeah, if we need them, we'll come get them. You know, but now they're really big members. Well, in my version. You know, she's not really a big member. In the comic book she's not really a big member, but in the T V show she was. But you know, in this one she's just a, a part time member. Um, 
you know, like Batman, John Jones coming in like, oh hey, uh, so we do have a temp something for them, and they're good people and stuff. He's looking at something and he's like, uh, well, this is kind of awkward, you know, all fighting. <laughs> like, they're all mad, we're just kind of like, mad about business. Professor is just like, uh, just kind of look at what's going on. He's gonna yell at him. Roy, we kind of split it up. He's kind of drinking and got the food there and stuff. He says, that's more like it. He says, that's what you think, Bozo. Bozo. It's kind of cool. Just figures I don't give you much, so I thought it pretty cool. Okay, got some new stuff. Um, starting up, I got this Bumblebee from Target. I was like, looking through the toys, flipping through them, flipping through them, flipping through them. And I'm like, oh, I can't find anything. And then I finally put through the Transformers. But oh man, nothing here, probably. And they're like, oh wait, what was that? Is that yellow? I'm like, what's that? I, I totally forgot about the Bumblebee. I'm like, that's the, the one of the main ones I wanted. Him and Ryan Pax. So flip through, flip through, flip through. Sorry, be quiet because it's nighttime. I flip through, flip through, flip through, and I saw the yellow. I'm like, oh wait, what? what's that? I'm like, but I'm like, oh, the Bumblebee. Oh, there's like ten bucks I him for. It was awesome. I love, I love these guys are ten bucks. That's an amazing deal. And the comic book came with a. Uh, you know, the good, awesome looking stuff. It's a cool weapon. I always thought it'd be awesome to make a figure from the comic books. Because this is a comic book concept figure. But yeah, um, I'm just going to show off some stuff I got. Here's a little haul I got when I was with my dad. Um, he, we went to some comic book stores. And as you know, I don't really see him much. So he took me some comic book stores and stuff. Made it all my day and stuff. You know, just because, you know, we don't see each other much. He gave me $25 to spend. And I bought, well, you know, I also had a little bit of money on me, and my mom gave me some money also, it's because, and so I put all the money together, and I got these two figures. Um, so it's very, very cool. Got this Nightwing for like 25, the count, no, 23. Yeah, he was 23, and she was 22, brand new. Um, both great figures. I love this. This is the DC Direct Nightwing, and then this is the DC Unlimited Wonder Woman, New 52. Well, very great figures. My very first one Woman, so that's awesome. Except my Lego one. <laughs> I've had a Nightwing, but the last one I had was that really junky one from Mattel from a long, long time ago, where its arms couldn't even move. It still looks good, but the articulation is awful. But I love this one. Just, this, this Nightwing looks amazing. This one Woman is just, oh man, it's amazing. <clears throat> Let me show off the I got these guys a while ago. Um, they were at um, Fred Meyer's for like seven dollars each or eight dollars each so i was like oh man i gotta buy them i told my mom like i gotta buy these can I please get them there that's like fine i bought these a while ago that was like a month or two ago it was a while ago i just haven't shown them on video yet so yeah, here they are now they're good figures um he's okay i didn't think i was actually i knew i was gonna buy him originally before the movie even came out because i was i got my batman and my green lantern and i was like oh man i want to make a movie justice league oh it'd be awesome although that's not what it's going to be like in the movie but it's that'd be cool though and then, um, Zod, I, I saw him, I'm like, uh -uh, I do not want him, he just did not look good. But I bought him anyways, and I couldn't find the other Zod, but I ended up finding him, which I'll get to in a second. But yeah, good, okay, figures, not too bad. Not too long ago, also, like, this was like a week or two ago, like a week ago, um, my stepdad took me somewhere, to some places, and he went to Toys R Us, because I heard some Iron Man toys were on sale. No, was that? No. Why did I go there? I thought there was some, something was happening, I thought something I don't remember why I wanted to go there but we ended up going to his rest though and I was flipping through finding something I wanted and I finally found him I'm like oh man oh I was gonna get this or this but you know what he is so awesome I've been looking for him you know he has cool armor and stuff and I, I really like him um I took him out of package though I was kind of um iffy about him because I don't like articulation but he's a great looking figure though I have to say that also came with this cool looking a lot of these the helmet's really awful. I hate the helmet. I thought I'd like it, but I really just... He just does not look cool with the helmet on. Not as cool as the movie did. But I said that said he's like holding it or something. No, I'm not going to get into that. Each figure does come to the stand, though. It's pretty cool. The only other one I found later, I was like with my dad, I think. Uh, it was with my mom. I don't remember who I was with. But I found a Superman that came with a little key. 
yeah, it hit my mom, yeah. But I couldn't find the Zod, it was chained up, but yeah. I, just, I think these are the only ones I'm going to buy. Um, I did find the black suited Superman at Walmart, but I decided not to get him. I got the Nightwing window Omen instead. Um, but I don't think I'm going to get him. If I if I find him again, I might get him. Depends if there's something better or not. But these are the main guys I want. I got Drill also. I don't know if I ever shut that off. I have Drill, I have the suited Zod, I have the unsuited Zod, and I have Superman. Um, I'm fine with that. That's the only guys I really wanted. Right. Um, this is another figure I got a while ago, like a month or two ago. I think it was a month. I, I'm sorry, my days are so weird. I can, like, usually my parents will be like, oh yeah, that happened a week ago. I'm like, what happened a week ago? I thought it was like a month ago. I, I just have a, a memory. You know, time seems shorter or longer? Longer. Um, yeah, I got this king, though, in the mail. I just never, um, showed it. I got this off eBay for like 30 bucks. It's crazy used. Um, I believe it's the Hasbro one because, you know, darker colors and stuff. I watched a review and someone said that it could be the other one though because I guess it was a variant or something. I don't know. Is it weird? But yeah. Very cool. Um, happy with them. I wanted to get them just because I want to finish up my villains. I like to get the villains. The villains are awesome. I don't have that many villains. I do like the superheroes too. Superheroes are awesome. But I have a lot of the superheroes. I'm trying to collect more of the villains. The only other big villain I'm missing of the Marvel, and uh, I got Kang, is Galactus. He's the big villain I'm missing that I don't have. Yeah. Um... This will show us some of my stuff I got recently. I got the Man of Steel, which I think I mentioned before. Uh, has for a while, so I shut it off. I got the, the day it came out. Yeah, I think the day it came out. Great movie. Love it. Um, some people don't like it. I. It's my favorite movie out of all movies. Love it. I like Avengers and stuff. I like The Dark Knight Rises. I like Spider-Man. You know, I like all those movies. But this has to be my favorite, I think. It's just amazing. I love it. Um, I got the Star Screen. This is from the... What are they called? The first edition? Something like that? I don't know what they're called, but it was part of the Transformers Prime, the very first wave that came out. Very cool Star Screen. I actually really like him. I got him for like six bucks at Ross. They had like the wave there. They had the Bumblebee and him. Was it first edition? Something like that? I don't remember. Um, and yesterday, I just got Wolverine. Um, it was a gift, um, which I didn't, I totally forgot it was even out. Um, Mom's like, oh, here, here's a gift. I'm like, like oh, uh. I thought she was like joking, I'm like, oh, haha, ha, gift, haha, ha. and like, I got a gift, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, what this is, and I'm looking through it, I'm like, oh, Wolverine, I'm like, oh, first of all, DVD, I'm like, what kind of DVD is this, what do I possibly want, I thought I have all the movies I want, I'm like, oh, Wolverine, I'm like, I totally forgot this came out today, I'm like, thanks, um, I was very happy about this, I love this movie, this and Man of Steel, I, man, those are some of my favorite movies, they're so amazing, I love this movie, Wolverine, I'm watching it right now. So I have my, I have my one of my Wolverine figures here. Days of Future Past. <laughs> Wrong movie. <laughs> the next year. Yeah, just have the toy with me. Just you know, watching Wolverine. And then just came in the mail today, which is absolutely amazing. I've been waiting for it for a while now because I ordered it off eBay. I ordered Beast Boy with a little falcon. I got him used. Um, good condition, man. Um, I have a story to talk about that I didn't get to talk about in my last clip because my camera died or something like that. Yeah, I think the camera died. Um, he has a little falcon, which actually has four points of articulation. Two f for the wings, you know, one, two. And his legs actually move, well, his ankles. You can actually turn them. I don't know why, that's a weird thing to add, but you know, it's more articulation, it's pretty cool. I realized that, I'm like, wow, that's cool. And then Beast Boy, man, he is very, very light. Like, I mean, extremely light. It almost looks like I have nothing in my hand. Has a feeling of something in my hand, but you know, he seriously nothing. This guy, you know, a little bit of weight. Him, I don't think he even, you know, I don't think the scale pick up anything. 
I put him on a scale or something. He is like pff, nothing. Um, he's really skinny and small, but I love it. That's a perfect size for him. Like his face and everything. They did an amazing job. Ugh. They did an amazing job in this figure. I wish he had open hand. You know, can do some cool gymnastic things or something. Gymnastics. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Sorry, I just can't speak today. Um, but yeah, that'd be cool though. You know, cool acrobatic things. Um, yeah, so I want to talk about though before is I did order off a Nightwing, a Nightwing toy off of eBay a lot, while ago. It was a DC Universe Classics one um, from the Grundy Wave. And I got it, and man, I was like so excited about it. I'm like, oh, this is so cool. And then I looked at it, and I'm like, huh, what is wrong with this figure? I'm looking at my Nightwing toy, I'm like, oh, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Um, and I finally figured out what it was. One leg was shorter than the other. This toy's fine, but I'm talking about, um, let me show an example though. Right here though, um, it was shorter than the other one, so right, you know, the calf area. Um, it had like his boot, and then it had his leg, and at his leg, sorry, my nails can be clipped. Um, but it was shorter though. It was so weird, I even, I even measured it and everything. It was like one third or one fourth um, of a inch small. And it was like a big difference though. Big enough to notice. I even tried to, you know, to stand him up. The toy had a stand, you know, not straight up like this. He had a stand like this. That's like the only way you can get him. And I tried to return it, and the guy was just, uh, he said, like, oh, I'm trying to fight it and stuff. He seemed like a nice guy, but then, you know, tried to fight it. But yeah, it made me really mad. But I had my money back, so for, I had to pay for shipping and send it back, though. Um, but yeah. So that was pretty. Uh, made me a little mad, but you know, I got that other Nightwing though, the Arkham City one, which is awesome. Yeah, this is my Beast Boy though, I love him. And I have my contest video in two days, um, I'm gonna put up. And keep in mind though, um, it's gonna be small stuff, like I'm gonna give away like a comic book or two away. I think it's gonna be two comic books. I still haven't decided yet, I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, and there'll be many rules to it, you know, because I'm a person who, you know, has a lot of rules. Like, you know, no language or anything like that. I'm trying to keep it, you know, very PG, you know, if, for everyone, you know, friendly for everyone. So, yeah, um, I'm excited for it, you know. I haven't had a contest before. My very first contest I've ever had in a contest. So, that'd be really, really cool. Um, so far, I know one person's going to enter. Let's see if anyone else is going to. If only that one person enters, yeah, maybe they'll just win. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. All right. See you guys next time.